Hi, everybody, and welcome into today's IPTA ClemsonTigers.com football report. It is a Thursday with Tim as the Tigers get ready for the uh, ACC opener with Florida State uh, here in uh, Clemson's Death Valley. First and foremost, coming off of that win over Auburn. Uh, this is one of those games, uh, Tim, even more importance, conference game and divisional game. Yeah, everybody was so geared up for the Auburn and your Auburn game, and you're right. Now it's a conference game. It's a divisional game. Uh, it, probably the biggest rival Clemson has in the ACC. So uh, got to get back up just, just like last week. Conference openers, uh, looking over your notes, 17 wins for the Tigers here at home, 17 wins on the road. Unfortunately, though, the last couple of ACC openers haven't been too good for the Tigers. Yeah, they've been uh, tough games against ranked teams. It shows you how t much tougher the ACC is than years ago. Uh, this will be the fourth time in the last five years Clemson's played a top 25 team in the opener, uh, and just 12 times in the first 54 years did we play a, a top 25 team uh, in the opener. So. Uh, uh, it, uh, things are going to be uh, uh, even more competitive this weekend. But Death Valley has been very good to the Tigers here as, as of recent years against the Seminoles. Yeah, it has. F uh, four straight uh, wins. Florida State has not won in Clemson since 2001. Uh, and all those teams have been ranked uh, uh, Florida State teams except for the 2009 game, the 2003 win, 26 to 10. Florida State came in third ranked as the highest ranked team Clemson's ever beaten in its history. And also one of the things that the Tigers are doing well is just putting points on the board, at least 35 games in the, each of the first three games. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been amazing. Just the second time in Clemson history, the Tigers have scored at least 35 in, the, in each of the first three games. Uh, did have a streak at midseason like that. Actually had five in a row of 35 uh, points or more in 2009 in Coach Sweeney's first full season. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the offensive numbers have been off the chart. 522 yards per game so far, about 38 points a game. So uh, it's been fun to watch. Well, and certainly all the other thing, obviously, that all of us have noticed, halftime adjustments by the defense at halftime have yet to allow a, a touchdown in the second half. That's right. Uh, 61 to 12, Clemson's outscored the opposition in the second half. Uh, in three straight games, Clemson has won the game without leading at the half. Uh, and it's uh, first time since 2004 uh, that Clemson has, uh, has done that. So uh, certainly good to see those adjustments being made and the Tigers uh, doing well in the second half is very important. And finally, I got to ask you about the last drive uh, against Auburn. Have you seen a Clemson team go nine and a half minutes with the ball, 18 plays, and not score points? Yeah, you have to wonder how long that drive could have gone because <laughs> the only reason it ended because it was the game ended. Right. It was the third longest drive in Clemson history. 947 is actually the longest drive. Uh, a drive up at uh, Maryland in 2005 under Charlie Whiter's direction. Uh, so you know, that, that drive could have gone 12 minutes uh, on, on, uh, on Saturday. So it was great to see uh, and 18 plays. 20 is the record for most plays in a drive. So it was uh, approaching that too. All right, let's see if uh, the Tigers can do something similar here in uh, Death Valley on a Saturday. Of course, a 3.30 kickoff. Hope to see you here. Wear your orange, be loud and proud. Should be a lot of fun. For Tim Beret, I'm Don Munson. Thanks for being with us here on ClemsonTigers.com.